Now, a lot of people think that they're at a certain capacity, but they don't actually know how loads work in an electrical panel. So they think that you're supposed to add every one of these breakers, but that's not how it works. So it, this is a 200 amp panel. If I were to add up all these breakers, I've got 440 amps worth of numbers on handles, but none of that even matters. These don't all run additively. And it's because most of the electrical loads in a panel don't run at the same time. So the most that something happens is when you have like a dryer running, that's an electric dryer, you know, you're probably running 30 amps on that. If you've got like a furnace running, you might be drawing like another 40, 50 amps on that. If you're using a whole bunch of stuff at one time, that's when the load starts to increase on this. But then once you shut those things off, it just goes back to like, you know, you might be charging or a phone or a laptop or like using a computer. So there's very little actually being used. So we have to do load calculations to figure out if you even need to increase your panel because it's all based off of what loads you're running.